South Point? Yeah. You remember this place before they redid this? Yep, I jumped off the pier a couple of times. You jumped off this pier, huh? You were one of those? <laughs> I was a rebel. I don't know anybody in Miami who hasn't at least maybe jumped once off of this yeah, pier. This used to be famous for jumping off. I'm not saying I did. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> It's taller, and yes, I'm back, back on campus. It's like they knew I was coming back from vacation. I That's awesome. Doors, the big, they or is it one? You gotta love this place. Going on a little coffee break here visit some friends in another office. Hey. Hi. We, this is my, this is my vlog camera. These, these are the ladies who like run the university. Nobody, <laughs> it's a secret, nobody really knows it. The real houses of the old people. <laughs> <laughs> I have not yet walked by the fountain today. It's about time. It is past five o'clock. I'm gonna run home because I've got some plans to work on some things for the vlog. I'm excited to be back in Miami because of that. Um, had a lot of work to catch up on today, but always happens, you go on vacation, you come back, you have a bunch of things. But let's go see this fountain one more time. It's right over there. Almost home. Gonna change real quick and head out. I'm glad to get you out of the house. <laughs> glad to be out of the house. Yeah, me too. I'm glad to be out of the house. This is gonna be fun. The best part is I'm gonna get to see the nature with you. How was your book? The book was excellent. Yeah? Yeah, it was uh, very detailed about uh, slavery and the way the slaves were treated back in the 1800s. Interesting. Oh, it's very interesting, actually. Good author, then. Excellent author. I want to read another book. So the beach is a pretty cool place to come and hang out after work. A lot of people come here to exercise, to relax, to take the stress off. So what are a couple things you want to do more often being here in Miami that we don't get to do now? Go to the beach more often. Everglades? I don't know, like the Everglades was the alligators. But when have you ever had a problem with the alligators? <laughs> They're scary. Um, as long as we don't mess with them, we're fine. Go out more and have more picnics in the parks. Yeah? Well, there's a lot of nice places in the Everglades we could do that. Oh yeah, we did that once, remember? Yeah. Hey guys, so we came back after spending a little bit of time over in the beach area. We didn't get to quite see the sunset we wanted because there was just this huge gray, massive cloud that covered the sun as it. So I got to finish her book. The book actually she mentioned is uh, right here. So it's the book I'm gonna read next. It's called Kindred. The author is, let me see if I can put it there. The author is Octavia Butler. So um, we had a conversation about it. Not too much though, because she didn't want to give away, but this, this book deals with a lot of the issues around slavery, but in a fiction setting. You know, I'm curious now because the set really liked it and I wanna, but how did we get this book? Is what I actually wanted to get to. So the last day of class, I asked our professor, now our professor, Dr. Spears Bunton, she's got an, uh, an English and literature background. I love to ask your top five books that I must read before the day I die. And usually, you know, you get really cool books and, and it's the way that I like to discover books. Our professor gave us, 
She couldn't give me five. She gave me a list of like 11. I've got 11 here. There's some pretty interesting things here. The Tempest, The Tempest, that's, that's on this list and that's Shakespeare. You know, to her, that was one of the books, top five that I must read before the day I die. And I asked her why, why The Tempest? And she says, well, that's, that was his last work. And it's just a like, culmination of everything he's known for. So that is a must read. And you don't really hear The Tempest mentioned as much. You hear Romeo and Juliet and all of these other things, but The Tempest. So I'm looking forward to actually reading that one. Now I've got an interest. If you guys think there are some other books out there that I should be looking at, by all means, let me know. I'm gonna do a little feature pretty soon on, on books and on reading. Well, I'm just gonna include this list down below and uh, let me know guys in the meantime stay safe stay healthy and go learn something well actually go read something